Ooh, hello my friends! Ah, oh, it's lovely to be back again making some videos for you guys. I have had a bit of a week off, uh, but I'm feeling much more better now. You know, my hair's gotten bigger, I've got a, I'm wearing a really bad t-shirt, but I'm back doing another video, and this is going to be a very good one. First things first, is behind me is a beautiful blank white wall, which means you can just see nothing but my face very clearly. Well, I hope it's very clear. I don't have the best lighting, I have to admit. But what am I going to do in this video? Well, I'm going to be doing another model railway review because I've got something really cool to show you. But normally I review Hornby Locos, but actually, this isn't actually Hornby. No, what is it, Oliver? Hmm. But what I do know is that this is going to be a very good review because I've been a busy boy. I've bought this look. Come and see. I bought this! A Helljan Class 33. Bought this brand new, now it's quite rare that I actually buy anything brand new because I like buying second hand stuff, although sometimes second hand isn't always the best, it's always a gamble. But I bought this brand new off eBay for £140, hmm, so uh, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of money, but I think it's worth every penny because this is really good. Now the Class 33s, I did look at Hornby's Class 33s but they were rubbish, so I decided I need something that's got a lot more detail and that's more newer and also DCC ready. That was very important. So I looked at Helljan's Class 33s and they look fantastic. And best of all, it's DCC ready. And I've already fitted a DCC chip in this. I did take a look inside of this uh, beautiful model, or what I'm going to say. Uh, and it didn't actually have any room for a speaker. And I was going to fit a Class 31 sound chip into this. But a lot of train enthusiasts might hate me for that. And, you know, sticking a Class 31 sound chip in a Class 33, no, that won't do at all. So at the moment, this sadly doesn't have sound, but I can live with that. Uh, at least it's digital, that's all I care about, so at least I can actually see it move. And it's got some brilliant detail, and it's got amazing uh, light functions. Yes, this thing does have lights. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really excited about the lights! I cannot wait to show you it, it's gonna be awesome. And this one has a nameplate on the side, and believe it or not, it actually says Eastley on the nameplate. And I thought, that's a class 33 that I should definitely have, because if those of you who don't know, uh, I actually grew up in Eastley. Eastley is actually my hometown. And it's the same place where they built many steam engines, like the schools class, or I think they built some of the Bully Pacifics, I think. But all I do know that EC Works made many things. And I'll show you what model this is. This is model, uh, well, the model code is 3426 BR Green D6508 Eastley. Uh, small yellow panels. Ooh, I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of its box, show you guys, you know, the close-up of all the detailed bits it's had and all the extra bits that comes with it. And then also, we're going to see it run on my layout afterwards. So uh, this is going to be a good video. So if I were you, I'd click subscribe because this is what we do on the Lazy Jet YouTube channel. We do many cool things. But no, seriously, you should subscribe because we are so close to 80,000 subscribers. I think we're like... 700 subscribers away of hitting the big 80k uh, milestone on this channel. So for those of you who haven't already, click subscribe, uh, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. But let's get into the review because I'm really excited. This is going to be a good review, guys, because this is actually a very good model. My dad loves these things. I mean, Class 33s, you can't go wrong with them. So let's have a look inside the box and see what we've got. Ooh, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Okay, so here she is, the Class 33, well, the Helljan Class 33, says Helljan, they've got, they've, got, they've got quite a nice logo, I'll show you guys the outside of the box, it, it, it kind of looks like a bit like a, well, actually, I'll tell you, it looks more like a Backman box uh, than a Hornby box, because, you know, it's got this dark blue, and, like, you know, you get, like, the little, like, you know, the little window, so you can actually see what the locomotive, what it looks like, um, but this, this just looks so cool, I'll show you guys uh, uh, it, it, in its box, there you go, it looks very nice, ooh, it just looks so good, doesn't it? A Class 33 uh, does look nice. I think it, uh, I can see why my dad loves these type of locomotives. They're just gorgeous to look at. So what I'm going to do is open up the little flap. That's what I like to call it, the little flap. I'm just going to gently... Ooh, that's a really nice looking box. Right, we'll move the, 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 the first bit of the 
of the box to one side. Um, God, this is really nice, isn't it? Now it's starting to look more like a, a Hornby box because of the red. But like, it's got this cool like red ring around the box, and then like on the sides are blue, and then like the front is red. I quite, I quite like that. Um, that's quite an interesting bit of design on a box. I mean. I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm more fascinated with the box, really. I don't know why. Uh, right, so let's gently slide it out. And, ooh, we've got some extra stuff. Uh, pop the box to one side. Uh, I believe this must be the Helljan Class 33 uh, manual. Uh, let me just open it up. Yes, there it is. Uh, hopefully the camera will stay in focus. Uh, so this is basically how to fit a uh, DCC chip, because this is DCC ready. Well, actually, it's DCC fitted now, because I've already fitted a... Uh, a decoder on this. Uh, as I said, it doesn't have sound, sadly, which is a big shame. But you know, I'm gonna have to live with that because, like, if you look at like the, the picture on the on the uh, on the um, what's it called, a diagram or something, uh, the picture on 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 the uh, on the instructions, uh, you can like see like there's no room to actually fit a speaker. So um, you know, I'll have to maybe imp improvise in the future. But like you know, as I said, I'll, I'll live with that because I don't want to like make any unnecessary. Uh, cutouts of the model because just you know just for a speaker if, if if I have to sacrifice sound for a very good model like this um, I guess I'll just have to live with that so put the manual to one side um, got like a little dust cover which is very nice I'm gonna keep that so the engine so the uh, model I should say doesn't get dusty and um, okay oh it looks so good especially in this light I, I, I had a lot of options I could have either gone for a BR blue one or a um, or a red one, which is a very dark, you know, West Country, not West Country, um, West Coast Mainline livery. Or uh, I could have gone for a BR Green one, uh, and I re and I wanted to go for a, a BR Green one because BR Green does look nice. And also, this one had the nameplate Eastley on the side, which no, there's another reason, or another reason why I bought this. And the others, they didn't really have light functions, but this one did, so that's another bonus. Um, I've already opened these um, because I wanted to see what these look like. These are extra detailed bits. You know, the camera's not going to focus. Are you going to focus on this? Focus on this camera. Um, I might have to do the focus manually, so let me just see if it focus. There we go. Um, but like, got, got like the big plow at the front, and like you know, extra bits of detail you need to add on. Um, God, this thing's got some amazing amount of detail that hasn't even been fitted. I mean, hell, Jan. I mean, that that is in that is incredible. How much like little detailed bits like that comes with the loco. So uh, I'm not gonna add the plow bits on at the moment because I just want to see how well the mo the model runs. Uh, but I'll probably do that like later on uh, in my life and see if it works or, or anything. But that's really cool. So I'm gonna move these to one side and keep them so they're safe. And now on to the model itself. It's very heavy, I have to say. It's a very heavy model. Uh, so we'll undo the little uh, little flappy bit. And I'm just going to grab the model out of its box. Well, it's a little um, ice block, doesn't it? They do look like ice blocks, these, these casings. I do love the uh, the model casings it comes in. It's much better than that polystyrene nonsense or styrofoam, whatever you call it. Uh, but here is the model itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold to the touch as always, but look at the amount of diesel on that. I mean, it's got a nice white ring around the wheels, like around the edge of the wheels. Uh, the axles are painted yellow and the hydraulic springs are painted red. That is a really nice touch, Helljan. Thank you. Um, but as I said, you know, I'll show you guys a close up of the nameplate if I can. Uh, there it is, it says Eastley. I haven't got the most serious hands and probably the most dirtiest fingernails. But there it says Eastly on side of the nameplate. It looks very nice. I'll give you guys a close-up of the uh, bogey with the uh, yellow axles and the red hydraulic springs. That looks very nice. And on the front, uh, it says EH, which I think is a nice one. It kind of represents Eastly, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, and then on the front, again, uh, it's got a number. And it's got a number of 89. Very nice. And look at those buffers. <laughs> And look at all the, like, the little details that are on the front as well, like all these pipes and bits and stuff that's all dangling. Oh, but the buffers look amazing. Are the buffers sprung? Yeah, the buffers are sprung! Look at that! <laughs> and I'll show you guys a good uh, on the other side, or maybe this is the side I've already shown, although it's a diesel, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you guys the roof as well if I can. Uh, I'll show you guys a close-up of the fan. The fan doesn't actually spin. Uh, which is a bit of a disappointment, but I wasn't really expecting it to. That would have been like a, a massive bonus if the fan actually did spin. But, you know, it's it's no big deal. But look! Oh, my God. And I have to say, the lights do work, which I will show you guys later on during this video. I cannot wait to show you. Um, 
but like I'm not actually that disappointed now the fact that this thing doesn't have sound uh, because like I think the detail like I'm so happy about how much detail is in this model I think I kind of forgotten that you know I don't, I don't really need sound sound is just like an extra thing to have but at least this is digital and that's all I care about but that just looks so nice doesn't it? it's it's very heavy this model I have to say um, but I'm so speechless at how much detail there is in this model. I mean, I'll show you guys again in close up from the front to the front as well. Front to the front. But look, I mean, I can't fault it anything. Hell Jan have done an amazing job. And you know, for, for like, you know, because I spent £140 on this model brand new, and I think that by the looks of it, it looks like it's worth like £190 because that's how much amount of detail. And bear in mind it has got light function, so I promise I will show you guys later on. Um, this guy, oh guys, I'm so happy with how much detail this is. I mean, Dad, if you're watching this video, which you probably are, you can see why that why I've bought a Class 33, especially in a BR Green one in a gorgeous livery like this and a nameplate that says Eastley. That's just an extra bonus. But that looks nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on the tracks, give it a cruel test. And then show you guys the light functions, and then we'll uh, give it some coaches and see what it looks like when it's pulling a train. Uh, let's do that, shall we? Ooh, I don't want to wiggle my hands about because I'm very worried of dropping this because this is quite heavy. So to the layout we go. Woo! Okay, boys and girls, we are on the layout, and what an incredible locomotive this is! <laughs> I can't believe uh, how much detail has got into this model. Uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely speechless. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a cruel test. So I'm gonna zoom the camera out just a little bit so we can actually see, so, it's, so we've got more room to see it go backwards and forwards. Cause I actually wanna test and see how well this thing or how smooth this thing actually runs. So zoom in just a little bit, why not? Okay, let's see, uh, let's give it a cruel test. So I'm gonna go forwards or backwards. I haven't got a clue. Let's, uh, let's see, shall we? Give it a little bit of power. Are we going forwards? Or it could be backwards, ah. But no, that is, wow, look how smooth that is. I haven't even cleaned these tracks in a while and the fact it's running that smooth is incredible. Let's, let's go backwards and see what that looks like. Oh my God. Look how smooth that is. That is probably one of the smoothest, cruelest I've ever owned. Like, I know I keep saying this a lot, but like, that is ridiculous ridiculously smooth and that is so slow as well I mean <laughs> I haven't even run this thing in yet that is, that is ridiculous I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in so you guys can actually like see how smooth the wheels and look how slow it's moving as well that is no that is that is ridiculous how smooth that is never seen a model moving so slow and so smooth ever that is that is amazing let's get make it go the other way Wow, I tell you what, like, I've been, I, I've never been a big fan of Helljan until now. Just look at how smooth that is. That is, <laughs> I am stunned of how amazingly well that's. That's just the crew is ridiculous. It looks like a shunter. Well, it is a shunter, I suppose, because the class thirty threes have. Well, they're quite small compared to a normal diesel, like a class. Um, 47 or a class of 37, uh, it's very good at maneuvering around the sidings and the yard a lot. So, like, I think this thing will be a fantastic shunter. I mean, look at that, it's just gorgeous. Let's zoom in a bit. Oh my, that is amazing. Right, let's make a stop quickly. There we go, power off. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move the camera in slightly, and I'm gonna, just, hopefully, uh, you guys can see that, but I'm actually gonna turn the light on. So you can see that this thing has got some amazing lights. So let's press the function and make it go forwards. There we go. It actually does have lights. And, and I even noticed that the cab lights up and so does the, uh, the number 89 on the front window. That is, that is incredible. Like I'll move the camera slightly closer so you guys can actually see. Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? So you guys can actually see it more up close. There we go, that's more like it, isn't it? And it looks so well with the buffers as well. So we make it, turn it off, and turn on. Turn off, and turn on. <laughs> and I don't, know you, I don't know if you'll be able to see this quite well on the camera, but like the, the front bulb, or the lights I should say, like they're not actually white, they're like a nice, like 
like 70s, 80s yellow. Like, I, I love how the light is not actually like white because if I compare it to, I don't know, I'll try and compare it with some of my other low coats that have lights. So just give me a second. All right, so hopefully the camera will pick up the lights on this, but if we look at the class 87, like it's like a nice whitey bluey light and same with the, uh, the class 59, like it's got a nice white blue like light effect, doesn't it? You can see it more better on the class um, 87 because uh, that's factory fitted, but the class um, 59, I've fitted those lights uh, myself. Uh, I have a video of me uh, fitting lights uh, on this model, so go check it out. It's a very bad video, but um, it's still fun to watch. Um, but if we go back to the class 87 and then have a look at the class 33, you can actually see it's like it's a, it's a very like yellowy greeny color. But then on the uh, 87, it's a like a bluey white color. So um, hopefully the camera will pick this up to see the difference in the lights. I mean, it's it's so cool how I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that it's not a white light. It's a nice yellowy, like, like an old fashioned Christmas light, if, if, if you will. But it does look so good, doesn't it? Especially like seeing all these diesels like like next to each other. Like it's so cool. Um, but which one would I pick? Uh, out of all these three is my favourite. Uh, I've got to say the Class 33. I mean, just like you can't go wrong by the amount of detail, like in the wipers and then like in, in the interior as well. So you want to try and zoom in so you guys can maybe see the interior. Mm -hmm, you can't really see that, never mind. But like, look at the detail on the front as well. Like that is when it comes to detail, hell jam. That is that is ridiculous. But look, at it's so cool. Oh, guys, I'm just, I'm so happy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to give the Class 33 some coaches and see what it looks like when it's actually pulling a train. So it might look like something from the, uh, uh, from maybe something from Train Sim World 2, perhaps. Um, hmm, let's, let's see what we've, what we've got in the, uh, in the box of many things. So here is my box of many things. I've got some Pullman coaches, some more Pullman coaches, some freight. Hmm. Could do a freight run, or it could haul a Spitfire on a flatbed. Mm, maybe not. But let me have a look see through the box of many things, and let's see what I can find, shall we? And I have got quite a lot of many things in this box of many things. But let's 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 just have a look, shall we? Okay, I think I found a solution of what we should pull with the class 33 and some of these lovely GWR looking Mark Ones. I think they look. I think they'll go so well because, like. The BR green with the Class 33 goes so well with these type of Mark 1s. <laughs> you guys can disagree or agree with me on this, but like these coaches are like perfect for this 33. It, it, it's like it's meant for this particular locomotive and I haven't got the most steadiest hands, I have to admit. Oh, my Discord's going off. <laughs> but um, no, we're gonna give this thing some power now, aren't we? So uh, we're gonna leave the light on because it just, it looks so cool. Um, and let's give this train some power. Which way is it going to go forward? It's going to go forward, obviously, because of the light. Uh, oh, we need to program it in. So we'll go for 33. That would help, Oliver. Oh, no, it's going the wrong way. Oh, no, the lights are off. Put them back on again. Oh, uh, having some technical issues, but no, I think we're okay. Give us a bit of power. There we go. Oh, bit of a speedy one. Look at that, though. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? That is beautiful, guys. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's uncoupled. No. Don't worry. She's got her coaches back. A little uh, coupling glitch, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, do apologize about the lighting, but still, I'm going to try and get some good shots for you with the Class 33 pulling its first train ever. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Got a lot of um, tools in the way. I do apologize. Look at that though. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Can't fall to a class 33, can I? Go from this side to get like a nice close-up shot of it coming down the tracks.
And I do have to apologise because my uh, table is slightly under construction again. Um, so I've got a lot of like things in the way, so it's quite hard to do some filming properly. So my filming skills are not up to par because uh, I've got a lot of things in the way which I'm currently working on. And you're probably going to think, oh, why don't you just move it? Actually, that's a strong argument. Why don't I just move it? That's a brilliant idea. Well, there you go, my friends. I've run it for about 25 minutes and it is amazing. It's such a beautiful model. And I'm gonna say something and I'm even gonna shock myself, but this is probably one of the nicest models I've actually have in my uh, in my collection. And this is the only Helljan model uh, that I actually own. So um, I might buy some more and see what kind of other amazing stuff they have. But uh, I'm, I'm, I just really wanted a 33. And I just think it is a beautiful looking diesel locomotive. And I really love the lights. The lights are just beautiful. But I really can't fault anything wrong with this model. And I love the fact that it says Eastley on the side because Eastley is my old hometown. Um, but it's just absolutely beautiful. I think for 140, I think I've spent like 144 pounds, something or other, somewhere about that area, uh, on this model. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's mo it's money worth spent, I think. It's just fantastic. I really recommend you guys getting uh, one of these. Uh, if you look on eBay, uh, there, there'll be loads of um, of Helljan Class 33s. I mean, just, just look on eBay and just see what they've got. Brand new, mind you. But the only thing I'd say I'm not really happy with is the fact that inside the actual motor mechanism bit, there's like, there's no space to fit a speaker uh, on this model. So I can't actually have sound uh, for this class 33 which is a real shame because if this thing had sound it would be the like the, the ultimate perfect model but like you know I'll I'll figure out a way I'll probably have to like send it off to a factory and they'll have to like fit a speaker for me very skillfully because I'm I'm not very good with like mechanical work I'm I'm very good at breaking things not very good at making or or fixing things to be honest but um but like you know uh, I, I, the fact that it hasn't got sound at the moment I, I can live with that but I am going to fit sound into this model like in the far future I don't know when or 
or how I'm going to do that, but I will do it eventually, and I'll definitely uh, keep you guys updated if I ever do make any changes to my models. Um, but a class 33 is, is especially as one as a good livery like this, it's, it is fantastic. I, I love this thing so much. But that concludes my video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, little review. Uh, I think that the class 33 is a fantastic diesel uh, locomotive. I, well, I keep saying this, but like, like, if you're a train lover like me, you've got to have one of these. Oh, it's so good. But for those of you who do have a class 33, Send me a picture via Twitter. Uh, if you just like, you know, tag me or hashtag me. I, 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 I don't really know how Twitter works. But like, if you guys want to send a picture uh, of your class 33, if, if, if you have one, uh, please share because I do enjoy what seeing other people. What you know, what kind of models they those guys have, or what you guys have. It's um, it's nice to like, you know, we're, we're all in this like little community that we share each other's uh, locomotives out there on the, on the internet. It's fantastic. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button because we are so close to 80,000 subscribers. Yeah! Oh my god, 80,000 subscribers, guys. Come on. We only need like, like just over 700 subscribers to actually get to 80k. Please click subscribe because, you know, this is a fantastic channel. You know, you want to see more of me because, you know, who, who doesn't want to see this face? But make sure to please subscribe, guys, because, you know, you don't want to miss out on all the amazing things we have uh, planned in the future. So, yes, click subscribe, uh, follow me on all my social media stuff, uh, links down all in the description below, and I'll see you guys again uh, next time. Bye for now, guys. Bye! <laughs>